Denise Burkett, who is a fabric designer for Free Spirit. This is her motor home. If I call her Neek, that's because she is my cousin. It's a family name. Denise, are you there? G'day, Jan. Oh, hi, Neek. How are you? Love your hair. What's going on there? Yeah, look, I just did shave for a cure for um, Leukemia Foundation. It's starting to grow back. Looks Come good. On in. Looks good. Denise, you've travelled all around Australia. Uh, tell us a favourite place that you've been to. Our uh, favourite place was Barn Hill Station. Um, I had the chance to to be there for a few weeks, and I found rocks and crushed them, mixed them with glue, and did these little shell paintings here. It's another little exercise. And I also, over the campfire each night. Um, to, uh, use charcoal and watercolour and at times when I don't have paint I've used things like Vegemite which these grasses have done with Vegemite. These are some compositions of shells and things that I've found along the way. Um, this is some sand that I've, that's the sand that I've sifted that I mix with the glue. Do you want to come back inside and come oh, into the house and I'll show you? Look at those beautiful little sketches of Australian yeah. animals. Denise, if you had a chance to travel in the US, in a motor home, would you like to do that? I'd love to, I'd love to, mm. yeah. Um, to do a workshop um, and hire a minibus or something, that would be great fun. And I see over here more of your collections. Here's a lovely little dog. What would happen, Nick, if you were a dog? What would you want to be called? I think if I was a dog, I'd be <laughs> called Doodle or Fiddler, because I'm always <laughs> playing with my hands. And Denise, you've been in real estate What's good about being out of real estate? Simply that I have more time um, to follow my passion, which is mm. fabric painting. Oh, show us. Show us some more. So I wanted to show you some sketches um, and my block printing, which I've always done. This is some of my hand-painted fabrics down here used as a mosaic. And when I'm travelling, I often sit at night and do doodles um, and... I think about the thoughts of the day and places I've been and the mood that that creates and I often journal that. Over here is uh, my fabrics for Free Spirit. So this is the first collection made up of eight designs. Oh, they look wonderful and all this together. And brochure here. Your brochure. This is where people can find you, Denise. Yes, denisebirkett.com and you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Um, this is another design over here, part of the collection called Drifting Petals. It's been beautifully quilted as a whole cloth. Mm. And your workshops, Denise, tell me what people might take away from Yeah, look, the workshops are a lot them. of fun for beginners to advance and I teach people different methods. They learn about colour and composition and it's a lot of fun. Denise, tell us what inspires you? I'm completely inspired by being surrounded by nature. Fortunately here I'm, I've got rainforest and um, reserve next door here. Being on 200 acres here, it's, it's fabulous. Um, this is a collection of my seed pods. This is coloured glass from Vanuatu, which I just love. It's been washed from the ocean. Beautiful. What's this, Denise? Why are you collecting onion skins? Well, <laughs> I'm taking these away with me when I go travelling for a couple of weeks uh, next week and I'll be dyeing fabric over the fire and bundling these up in the fabric. More seeds. I and know you love the garden. Have a look at the garden outside. I know you're a garden lover. Looks beautiful out here. Denise, you've looked after lots of animals when you've stayed on people's properties during your travels. What's your favourite? Um, yeah, I've looked after llamas and horses and peacocks, but the favourites were the pet kangaroos. And what have we got here? What's your pet here? These are my two goldfish, Aww. which are very, very, very tame. Denise, if you could speak to your younger self, what would you say now? I would say I wish I had had the confidence when I was younger to do what I'm doing now I would say to follow your dream or your passion if you can identify what that is early um, and um, try to come back to it all the time. That's wonderful Denise you are an adventurer you are a free spirit and you belong to free spirit. Denise 
My cousin, Neek, time for a cup of tea. No, no more questions. questions. Let's go. Thanks,